I know I'm two days late with Halloween makeup, but I had to show you this. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off by gluing down my eyebrows with an Elmer's glue stick. What you want to do is apply the glue in your brows the opposite direction that they grow so that you can coat each individual lash or individual hair with glue and then brush the hair back the direction that it grows and apply more glue and smooth it out with your fingers. It's pretty simple. This is my first time, so I'm definitely not a pro, but it was all for a good cause. So this is the first time that I've ever glued my eyebrows down and I've seen it done before. I uh, went through my eyebrows first with alcohol with a cotton swab just to make sure that I got rid of any oils from my natural hair or from the skin or any leftover product or else the glue won't stick. So I've already placed my brows on and I've smoothed everything down so I'm going to wait until it dries and then come back and cover all of this with foundation. And we will see how this looks because it feels pretty crazy. Um, yeah. I've already applied my foundation, so now I'm going in with my NYX Conceal, Correct, and Contour Palette, and I'm using the orange corrector to correct the blue from the blue undertone of my eyebrow hairs. And uh, I'm just adding an even layer with a very thin concealer brush, and just making sure that I blend it so that it's not very obvious that there's two different tones going on. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my air spun powder and I'm going to go in and set my eyebrows. And I also went ahead and did some highlight and contour off, off the record. So now I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses matte lipstick in Pool Party and I'm using an, an angled brush to create a placeholder uh, for the design that I'm gonna create. So my placeholder is in the shape of eyebrows, but don't worry, they don't have to be precise because they're not going to stay that way for long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat that step on the other side and then go on to the next thing. So I'm just making sure there's an even pigment going on and that's pretty much it. You don't have to be too nitpicky about how these look. Okay. Now I'm taking my NYX Love & Rio palette and I'm using the dark purple and I'm using that on the inner corner of the bridge of my nose. And I'm going to start bringing that color and fading it underneath where my eyebrow is and uh, winging it out on the edge. So almost like a, a, a crease, creating a new crease. And I'm just gonna build up the color. This is very pigmented, um, but I just wanna make sure it doesn't look blotchy in any kind of way. Okay, I feel like that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna go back in a little bit and now I'm taking the pink in that palette and I'm applying that down the lid of my eyes just to make sure that pink and purple blend. Okay, so now I'm taking my L'Oreal Hip Duo and I'm using the darkest uh, plum in that to create more of a cast shadow um, right under the bridge of my eyebrows. And I'm bringing that out and creating a new uh, crease so to speak. And I'm just blending that nice and even. I'm also going to take that down the side of my nose. Now I'm going to take my other L'Oreal Hip Duo and I'm using the dark blue first just to get the color even. And I'm connecting that brow to the, um, to the crease that I created. And then I'm going to go over the top of that dark blue with the teal that came in in this uh, eyeshadow duo because I really like how that metallic looks 
over the uh, brows um, that I erased on my face. Okay, so I'm just gonna smooth the edge and connect that dark blue to the, the purple that I had placed on, on my eyes. And I'm just gonna go in and make that as vibrant as possible and make sure it's nice and blended. I'm also going to just take that eyeshadow and wing it out on the outer corners all the way to the very top of my cheekbones. I want this to look sort of like a mask. Okay, so I'm also just going to go back over to my nose and contour and I'm using the till from that palette and I'm bringing that down the center of my nose and stopping right at the bridge of my nose. Okay, so now I'm taking my Rue Beauties palette. This is a really cheap eyeshadow palette. Uh, I probably picked it up for like $5 or less. Um, all the colors are extremely sheer, so if you want to play with colorful highlighters, this would be a great reason to use that palette. Um, I got it a few years ago, so I don't know if they sell it. So I'm just using the green, the lime green in that palette, and I'm creating highlights above the eyebrow and also the very tops of my cheekbones. Right now I'm creating little triangles above the brow bone area and not being super specific because I really was just winging this. Okay, so I'm going to bring that green over on the other cheekbone as well. Okay. And just making sure that shows up more. Now I'm going in with the dark blue from the Rue Beauties palette and I'm blending it into that green so it's more of a gradient effect. Okay. And I'm going to take some of the lavender purple and connect those two triangles at the top of my face. Okay. I'm going back in with the pink from that palette and I'm creating another highlight above the green and connecting it to the outer corner of my eyes. I'm also going to apply that on my cupid's bow down the sides of my nose and I'm also going to take that color onto the my chin and underneath my contour. It's really cool how this pink looks I would use it as a highlight um, for sure in a non-playful way. So I'm just taking the dark purple and placing that down. Okay, now I'm gonna just go in with my NYC liquid liner uh, and I am just creating a bunch of little squiggly lines on my face. This is completely random. I would say the best way to go about it is to try to be as symmetrical as possible. Um, when in doubt, use a crap ton of dots. Just go ham with dots because it makes it look even more intricate. So I'm just creating little dots there and also going to go in and just, you know, create little circles. I'm trying to keep everything symmetrical, like I said. I'm gonna create a circle in the center of my forehead. And then go to the side of my eyebrow and create little squigglies. You can do this however you want. This is how I did it. Just keep it symmetrical and when in doubt, use dots and you pretty much nailed the look. So I'm gonna create more dots and little leaf shapes. Gonna create another little leaf shape right there and another leaf shape. Okay, and this is the fun part. So now I'm just starting off with a little V and connecting it uh, through the black eyeliner that I used and I created another little leaf shape towards the center of the bridge of my nose okay. and just filling it in now I'm going to just put some white dots on my face and I'm taking the top of that V and creating a 
even bigger squiggly on both sides. Almost like a disconnected heart. Um, we want to be specific. I'm just going to create a bunch of little dots down the center of my nose. I'm also going to just fill in that circle in the center of my forehead and a little bit after I create some more dots. So there are some more dots. There, I'm placing them in the same areas on both sides. Like I said, symmetry will definitely make this look like it was very intentional um, because I was really just winging this. Like I said, and I'm just creating little dots on the outside of the squigglies. And then I'm going to fill in that little leaf shape on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and create some more dots in that little V that I created. Fill in that circle at the top of my forehead. Also going to create some big circles underneath. My eyes, go ahead and allow your eyes to crease so you can just uh, draw a circle over the crease instead of getting it in the crease. It'll be harder to take the makeup off if you get it all the way in the crease. It's just, don't, don't create extra trouble for yourself. So I'm creating little dots down the sides of my nose and up the bridge of my nose as well. I'm gonna create big circles on the tops of my eyelids as well and I'm gonna fill them in just like the bottom and then I'm just going to bring some dots down those little uh, down the circles underneath my eyes and then bring some towards the inner corner of my tear duct just gonna connect the dots and just following the same pattern that I'm doing on both sides um, because I want it to stay symmetrical. Okay, and I'm gonna connect some more dots. I feel like that looks pretty intricate. When in doubt, keep adding dots. Really small ones though. The small ones look very intricate. So on my eyelids, I didn't really know what to do, so I'm just making a bunch of little dots because I thought that would be, it, it would be really cool and interesting texture to see on the eyelids. So now I'm going in with my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Pen, and I'm putting this glitter over all of the huge white dots and uh, the, the squigglies white squigglies on my face, mainly because that white can look really harsh, but when you add this peach glitter um, over the top, it gives it a really cool look and feel um, that I, I like very much. So just gonna trace the, the white lines that I already have on my face. Don't worry about covering the small dots. It's That would be too tedious to go over with glitter. Really don't cause that much trouble for yourself. It's not worth it. So once I'm done outlining those dots, I feel like that looks cool, but not cool enough. So I'm gonna add a little bit more glitter. Like I said, I am totally winging this, so. Now I'm going back to that Rue Beauties palette and I'm adding more pink above my lip because I thought that would look pretty cool. And I'm going to go back in with my Ruby Kisses liquid liner in white and create a huge dot, kind of like a Medusa piercing, right above my cupid's bow and add some little dots connecting as well as some little dots from the corners of my lips. And they're kind of curving up too. Okay. And I'm going to also create some dots going down the center of my chin and four little dots on the tip of my nose. Okay, and I think I'm gonna add just a little more dots to the outer corner of my eyes 
And I feel like that's pretty done. So now I'm going in with my Nick K True Matte Liquid Lipstick in Vivid Violet. And I'm just placing this on my lips. I'm going to let it dry. But whilst I have that lip color out, I'm going to place just a little bit on my hand and go in with an angle brush and create some wings to match my lips. Because because why not? Uh, go big or go home, right? Okay. So you can't be an alien without eyelashes, or at least I don't want to be an alien without eyelashes. So I'm taking my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and I'm just applying that to the upper and lower lashes. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Just, just do it because it's cool. Um, <laughs> Just like that, you guys. And now I'm gonna go back with the eyeshadow brush and I'm taking the teal from my L'Oreal Hip High Intensity Eyeshadow Duo and I'm applying that through the center of the lips. I'm not covering the whole lip because I want that purple to show through. I just kind of want this to look like snake skin or like scales. And there you go. This is the complete look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.